Okay, so yesterday we spoke about, started this series on faith, correct? Um, yesterday we spoke about fear and fear versus faith, fear and faith. The thing about it is, as we start off from yesterday about fear, is that once we use our faith, as we give the definition of fear being faith elevates all resolve. Once we have our all, our resolve elevated, once we got around some people that are helping us to de- with their faith to help uplift us to move past this fear, we've no longer expecting fear to happen for us. We have no fear. So now what are we expecting? We're expecting the success to come for come towards us, okay? So another way of saying that is that we have a belief in some expectancy of success. Faith is that belief and expectancy. Faith is that belief and an expectancy. You see, before I do all these talks here, these little short inspirational talks, or before I get on the phone with someone or some prospect or whatever it may be, um, counseling or whatever it may be that I'm doing, one of the things that I do to get myself to have, so that I have a positive expectancy from that, uh, from that conversation as I do say a little prayer. And a prayer may happen early in the day, but then before I actually sit down to talk to somebody or I go to a business prospect or I do this talk, as I said, I have a prayer. I say it. I ask for words. I ask for God to give me the words to use to be more inspirational, to impact someone's life. And whatever other things that may come along at that point, that come out of me. But after I finish saying this prayer, I get my little soul pound and explode with God, right? Then, yes, I do give God a soul pound and I explode. <laughs> and I actually visualize his hand exploding from the back. But after I've done that, I have this expectancy of doing something great. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. All I know is I expect it to be great. I have faith in God and in my and my and the studying and the research that I've done and and my life experience to know that I'll be able to impact somebody and be able to inspire someone and able to move them forward towards their goals. You see, I heard this, and I'll end with this. I heard, uh, excuse me, I read this earlier today when I was messing around on Facebook as I do, and I saw this uh, acro- another acronym. I love acronyms on Wordsmith. It was for push. Okay, and push they were saying stood for persisting until something happens. And it goes right along with another post I posted today when I was running with my son talking about you got to keep pushing yourself without stressing yourself. And that's exactly what happens when you get when you get when you see you've moved past the fear, you've got expectancy of something successful to happen for you, your faith is strong, and now what I have to do is keep persisting until something happens. Keep pushing myself towards my goal. Not stressing, pushing. There's no stress in faith. Because you know it's gonna happen. You just gotta keep persisting until something happens. Alright, fam, I love you. Give me some comments on this uh, this video here today. This is an inspirational talk, and I will talk to you tomorrow as we define a little more the meaning of the word faith. Love you.